In esoteric knowledge, there exists a concept shrouded in mystery and veiled in symbolism. The 33rd degree law, often associated with secret societies. This law purportedly holds the key to accessing the mind of God, unlocking profound wisdom and spiritual insight. In this exploration, we delve into the origins and symbolism of the 33rd degree within Freemasonry, along with the exact steps that need to be taken to access the mind of God. To comprehend the 33rd degree law, one must first understand its context within the intricate tapestry of Freemasonry. Originating from medieval stonemason guilds, Freemasonry evolved into a clandestine and symbolic fraternity during the Renaissance. The society, characterized by its secret rituals, symbols, and hierarchical structure, aimed to cultivate moral and spiritual development among its members. Medieval stonemason guilds, responsible for constructing grand cathedrals and other architectural marvels, laid the foundation for Freemasonry. As these guilds transformed into a more secretive and exclusive organization, they incorporated esoteric teachings, hermetic principles, and symbolic rituals into their practices. This transformation marked the emergence of Freemasonry as a conduit for the pursuit of higher knowledge. The 33rd degree law holds a special place in the hierarchy of Freemasonry, symbolizing the pinnacle of achievement within the organization. To grasp its significance, it's essential to explore the roots of Freemasonry and how it transformed over the centuries. Originally, Freemasonry emerged from the practices of medieval stonemason guilds, where builders shared knowledge and skills to construct impressive structures like cathedrals. As time progressed, Freemasonry evolved beyond its practical origins into a more mysterious and exclusive fraternity. This transformation occurred during the Renaissance, an era marked by a renewed interest in symbolism, esoteric knowledge, and spiritual development. At its core, Freemasonry is distinguished by its unique blend of secrecy, rituals, and a structured hierarchy. These elements are designed to foster a sense of camaraderie among members and encourage personal growth. The organization places a strong emphasis on moral and spiritual development, seeking to instill virtuous qualities in its members. The 33rd degree law acts as a crowning achievement within the Masonic hierarchy. Think of it as the culmination of a member's journey through the various degrees and rituals that mark their progress within the organization. Each degree represents a stage of enlightenment, with the 33rd degree being the highest attainable. Central to Freemasonry is the system of degrees, representing distinct stages of initiation and spiritual development. The entered apprentice degree serves as the foundational step in a Freemason's journey. It introduces candidates to the basic principles and symbols of the craft, emphasizing the importance of self-discovery and moral growth. Initiates learn about the significance of tools, such as the square and compass, which symbolize virtue and the boundaries of conduct. This initial degree fosters a sense of curiosity and a desire for further knowledge. Advancing to the fellow craft degree, Freemasons delve deeper into the teachings of the craft. This stage focuses on the development of the mind and intellect. Candidates explore the liberal arts and sciences, which represent the pursuit of knowledge and the refinement of one's character. The fellow craft degree encourages a commitment to lifelong learning and urges individuals to apply wisdom in their daily lives. The pinnacle of the Masonic journey is the Master Mason degree. Attaining this degree signifies a profound understanding of Masonic principles and a commitment to personal and spiritual growth. In this final stage, initiates learn about the symbolic significance of the Temple of Solomon, which represents the inner sanctum of the human soul. The Master Mason degree emphasizes the importance of building a moral and virtuous life, using the lessons gained from the previous degrees. The concept of accessing the mind of God is not unique to Freemasonry. It echoes throughout the annals of mysticism across diverse religious traditions. Mystics throughout history have sought direct communion with the divine, aiming to transcend the limitations of ordinary human perception. Whether through prayer, 
meditation, or ritual, mystics have pursued a heightened state of consciousness, believing that in doing so, they could gain insights into the ultimate nature of reality. At the heart of mysticism lies the conviction that direct personal experience of the divine is attainable. This experience often transcends the boundaries of religious dogma, emphasizing a universal connection between the seeker and the divine source. The 33rd degree law within the Masonic context may be seen as a symbolic representation of this mystical journey, an ascent towards a profound understanding of the divine and the universe. In Christianity, believers also seek a personal connection with the divine through faith and prayer. The Bible, a sacred text for Christians, serves as a guidebook for this spiritual journey. It is divided into two main sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament contains ancient scriptures that were part of the Jewish tradition before the advent of Jesus Christ, while the New Testament focuses on the life and teachings of Jesus. The Bible is considered by Christians to be the inspired Word of God, offering moral and spiritual guidance. It tells stories of faith, courage, and the human experience, providing lessons on love, forgiveness, and compassion. For many believers, reading the Bible is a way to draw closer to the divine and gain insight into the purpose of life. Beyond the confines of organized religion, mysticism finds expression in philosophical contemplation of ultimate reality. Thinkers across cultures and epochs have engaged in deep reflection on the nature of existence, the purpose of life, and the underlying unity that connects all things. The pursuit of divine knowledge, as encapsulated in the 33rd degree law, aligns with the philosophical tradition of seeking profound truths through intellectual exploration and introspection. Albert Pike, a towering figure in the realm of Freemasonry, significantly shaped the philosophical underpinnings of the craft. His contributions, particularly encapsulated in his magnum opus, Morals and Dogma, provide profound insight into the deeper meanings embedded in Masonic teachings. Pike's emphasis on symbolism and allegory within Freemasonry underscores the idea that the craft serves as a symbolic journey toward truth and self-realization. Born on December 29, 1809, in Boston, Massachusetts, Albert Pike's journey into Freemasonry began in his early adulthood. He joined the Western Star Lodge No. 2 in Little Rock, Arkansas, marking the start of a remarkable chapter in his life. Over time, Pike rose through the ranks, eventually becoming the Sovereign Grand Commander of the Southern Jurisdiction of the Scottish Rite, a position he held for over three decades. Pike's influence extended beyond his organizational roles, as he played a key role in shaping the rituals and degrees of the Scottish Rite. His commitment to preserving the traditions of Freemasonry led him to revise and expand upon the rituals, providing a more comprehensive and organized structure to the teachings. Albert Pike's Morals and Dogma stands as a comprehensive exploration of Masonic philosophy. This monumental work delves into the symbolism and allegory inherent in Masonic rituals, offering a guide for initiates to interpret the deeper meanings concealed within the craft. Pike's writings assert that Freemasonry is not merely a collection of rituals, but a philosophical system designed to lead individuals toward a profound understanding of themselves, their fellow human beings, and the divine. The book is structured as a series of lectures, each delving into different aspects of Masonic symbolism and philosophy. Pike covers a wide range of topics, including morality, virtue, and the pursuit of knowledge. He underscores the importance of moral development and self-improvement, asserting that Freemasonry provides a framework for individuals to cultivate these qualities in their lives. Pike's philosophical approach places a strong emphasis on the use of symbolism and allegory as tools for conveying esoteric truths. Symbols, he contends, are a language that transcends ordinary communication, allowing initiates to access deeper layers of understanding. The 33rd degree law, within this context, can be seen as the pinnacle of symbolic representation, 
a culmination of encoded wisdom meant to guide seekers on their journey toward divine knowledge. Pike envisioned Freemasonry as a sacred quest for truth and self-realization. In his view, the rituals, symbols, and degrees of Masonry served as a means for individuals to attain enlightenment, transcending the illusions of material existence. The 33rd degree, as the highest degree in the Scottish Rite, symbolizes the attainment of the highest truths and the realization of one's spiritual potential. Albert Pike's exploration of Masonic philosophy includes the concept of balancing opposites within the individual, drawing on principles of spiritual alchemy. Pike suggests that the transformative process involves reconciling opposing forces within oneself. This alchemical approach is reflected in the symbolic journey of a Mason, where self-examination, moral rectitude, and the pursuit of knowledge lead to inner transformation. The Masonic journey, according to Pike, incorporates alchemical symbolism as a means of guiding initiates through a process of inner refinement. Alchemy, traditionally associated with the transmutation of base metals into gold, serves as a metaphor for the transformation of the human soul. The 33rd degree law aligns with this alchemical journey, representing the pinnacle of spiritual refinement and enlightenment. Pike's philosophy emphasizes that true transformation occurs through rigorous self-examination, adherence to moral principles, and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. The 33rd degree law, as the culmination of the Masonic journey, signifies the successful completion of this transformative process. By balancing opposites within oneself and engaging in spiritual alchemy, the initiate reaches a state of heightened awareness and understanding. The philosophy underlying the 33rd degree law suggests that accessing the mind of God unlocks the limitless creative potentials within human consciousness. Albert Pike's teachings encourage individuals to recognize the divine spark within themselves and tap into the boundless wellspring of creativity, innovation, and visionary thinking. The 33rd degree, therefore, aligns with the idea that a heightened state of consciousness fosters an expansive and unlimited realm of possibilities. Living in alignment with universal principles is a cornerstone of Albert Pike's Masonic philosophy. The 33rd degree law implies that the pursuit of divine knowledge must be accompanied by acts of kindness, compassion, and ethical living. Pike's teachings emphasize the positive influence individuals can have on the interconnected web of existence when they embody universal principles in their daily lives. Pike's vision extends beyond the individual's quest for enlightenment to encompass the broader impact of ethical behavior on society. The 33rd degree law, when understood in this context, encourages Masons to contribute positively to their communities and the world at large. Acts of kindness, compassion, and ethical living become integral components of the Masonic journey, reflecting a commitment to the betterment of humanity. Pike's teachings suggest that the ethical actions of individuals radiate outward, creating a positive influence on the interconnected web of existence. The 33rd degree law, as the apex of Masonic knowledge, implies a responsibility to contribute to the greater good. By aligning personal conduct with universal principles, Masons can play a role in fostering harmony and balance in the world. The aspirational journey outlined by the 33rd degree law encourages individuals to embrace intuition as a guiding force. Albert Pike's philosophy acknowledges the importance of trusting intuitive insights for spiritual revelations. By detaching from material desires and appreciating the abundance within and around oneself, Masons are urged to surrender to the flow of life and recognize the inherent wisdom of intuitive guidance. Pike's teachings recognize that intuition serves as a direct channel to higher knowledge. The 33rd degree law, in this context, encourages initiates to trust their intuitive insights, recognizing them as valuable sources of spiritual revelation. By doing so, individuals may uncover deeper truths about themselves, the nature of existence, and the divine. The journey toward the 33rd degree involves a process of detachment from material desires, as emphasized by Pike's teachings. 
Masons are encouraged to appreciate the abundance within and around themselves, recognizing that true fulfillment comes from spiritual insight and connection with the divine. This detachment allows for a deeper understanding of the self and the realization of the profound interconnectedness of all things. The philosophy embedded in the 33rd degree law extends to the way individuals navigate the world. Pike's teachings advocate for the practice of observing beyond physical senses, engaging in intentional action informed by insights gained through observation, and embracing the timing of the universe. Initiates are encouraged to surrender to the flow of life, awaiting unexpected results with a sense of openness and receptivity. Pike's philosophy encourages individuals to go beyond the limitations of their physical senses and cultivate a heightened awareness of the subtle energies at play in the world. The 33rd degree law, as a guide to accessing the mind of God, suggests that keen observation extends beyond surface appearances, allowing initiates to perceive the underlying truths that govern existence. Observation, in Pike's philosophy, is not a passive activity, but a precursor to intentional action. The 33rd degree law implies that initiates should apply the insights gained through observation to guide their actions in the world. By acting with intention and purpose, individuals align themselves with the higher principles embodied in Masonic teachings, contributing to their own growth and the betterment of the world. The final aspect of the 33rd degree philosophy involves embracing the timing of the universe and surrendering to the flow of life. Pike's teachings recognize the interconnected and cyclical nature of existence. Initiates are encouraged to trust the unfolding of events, recognizing that there is a perfect timing for every action. By surrendering to the flow of life, Individuals align themselves with the natural order and experience a harmonious integration of their efforts with the broader cosmic dance. In conclusion, the 33rd degree law emerges as a multifaceted concept deeply rooted in the historical legacy of Freemasonry and enriched by the philosophical contributions of Albert Pike. From its origins within medieval stonemason guilds to its culmination in the Scottish Rite as a symbol of spiritual attainment, the 33rd degree law represents a profound journey toward accessing the mind of God. Albert Pike's influence, emphasizing symbolism, allegory, ethical living, and the transformative power of spiritual alchemy, adds layers of meaning to this esoteric concept. The limitless potential of human consciousness, the importance of compassion, and the surrender to intuitive guidance further illuminate the aspirational path outlined by the 33rd degree law. Ultimately, this journey encourages individuals to observe, take intentional action, and await unexpected results, all while recognizing their interconnected role in the grand tapestry of existence.